Air strafing is the game mechanic which lets you control your movement while airborne. Air strafing is a fundamental aspect to jumping which, with practice, becomes second nature to the point where you don't have to think about it. To air strafe, you need to press a movement key while airborne and move your mouse in the same direction as your movement key. So in this clip I am holding D while airborne, which is my strafe to the right key, as well as moving my mouse to the right, and that combination allows me to actually move in the air and go towards the right. I can also hold A, which is my strafe to the left key, and move my mouse to the left, which will move me to the left while airborne. Note that it doesn't matter if you hold crouch or not, as well as your aim on the Y axis. So in this clip I'm aiming straight in the air, but I'm still moving my mouse to the left, though it's kind of hard to tell, and you'll see that the jump is exactly the same as the previous clip. And it is possible to chain together different air strafes, so in this clip I am air strafing to the left and then air strafing to the right, and you'll see that my movement matches that, so I move to the left and then move to the right to land on the balcony. An important aspect to air strafing is knowing the limits, so there is actually a hard limit on how fast you can move your mouse in order to air strafe. If you move it too fast, you actually just lose your speed and you go nowhere. And it's up to you to really learn how fast you can move your mouse before you lose speed, as there's not really a good way to teach that, it just comes down to feeling, pretty much. One last aspect to air strafing, which is kind of counterintuitive to the rest of air strafing, is that when you hit a movement key, which moves you in the direction opposite of where you're moving in the air, you will lose your speed. So in this clip, I am hitting S to go backwards while I'm moving forwards in the air, and that is making me lose speed. If I were to hit W, A, or D while in the air, my speed wouldn't be affected whatsoever. In particular, a lot of beginners seem to think that holding W while airborne and moving forwards will make you go faster, but it doesn't do anything. And while everything in this tutorial so far has been moving forwards in the air and air strafing from that, you can air strafe in any other orientation, so moving backwards, moving sideways, moving diagonal, and you can still air strafe. So here I'm just moving backwards and hitting W, and that counteracts the motion, which makes me stop in midair. So here is me strafing to the right, and then holding W in the air, and then moving my mouse down, and that'll make me strafe towards the spire. Or air strafing diagonally by holding two adjacent keys, in this case just W and A, and yeah, I'm just air strafing with that.